Welcome to section four, coloring up your sketch. So you have your sketch that you created in the last section. And what we're gonna wanna do is make sure our sketches are grouped. Mine are not right now. So I'm gonna select all of the objects within my sketch. I'm gonna right click or control click on Mac and I'm gonna choose group. And I'm gonna do that for the back as well. All right, so let's just focus on the front sketch because basically what you're going to do for the front sketch is what you're going to do for the back sketch. So let's go ahead and click into the group. And the easiest way to do this um, is to double click to enter the group and that isolates this group. So you can put stuff all over anywhere else and it's not going to mess with any other sketches. Um, I prefer to do it this way rather than ungrouping something and then regrouping it later. Um, just because it, when you're working with a ton of sketches or like in a really big document, it can get really cumbersome to um, group things and ungroup them and you can end up missing pieces. And then when you move something, something's not attached to it and it can get very complicated. So double click um, into the group to isolate it. So now we are using the sketch as if it is ungrouped. And what we're gonna do is just fill our um, sketch with a color. So let's just choose a color. And you can see that my outline is in front of all of my other details. Um, yours probably is not since you created your outline first. Um, I've been kind of messing around with these as I've been making these videos. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to control click and um, select my object, control click and arrange and send to back. All right, so now we have our colored sketch, but maybe um, you have several colors that are inside of this sketch and so you need to make the neck trim a different color. And um, instead of trying to um, create a clipping mask or something like that, what we wanna do is act actually just layer our colors inside of our sketch. And you could even use your layers panel if you wanted to really keep things separate. Um, I find that it's really not that helpful to organize things that way. And um, it can get kind of complicated inside of groups using layers because it wants all of the things that are within a group on the same layer. So I would recommend just layering things um, within one layer. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, and you can follow along in your PDF guide. And what we're gonna do is select our neckline and we're gonna select the seam line that is um, on our neck trim. So I'm holding down shift and I'm going to select both. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to command C, command F to paste in front. And I want to make this into um, a closed shape, just like our outside shape is a closed shape. We want to do the same thing. So I'm going to control click and I'm going to hit join. So that joined that side right there, you can see that. And I'm gonna hit join again so that it connects the other side as well. So let's make this white. And what you can see is, um, if I, let's go here. We don't wanna fill it with, um, we don't want to have an outline because we don't want our, we just want one seam line, we don't wanna, be layering a bunch of seam lines on top of it because things can get a little um, complicated that way. But what we're seeing now is just like when we first started this video where our green was in the front, now our white is in the front and we can't see our seam lines. So they look like they're not the same width all the way across. And the way to fix that is to click on your white object or click on whatever object you want um, or whichever color you want in the foreground, and then move back into the backspace. So you want to click on the first foreground object and then move your way back. So I want this to be on top and I want this green to be behind it. So I've selected both of these objects 
just the green and the white, and I'm going to do a range send to back. And what's, what that's doing is it is layering those two objects on top of each other with all of our seam lines in the front. But now what you can see is now our outline for our full garment isn't in front of this white space. So that kind of looks bad because now you don't have just that nice clean line around the outside. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna select our green fill object and we're gonna do Command C, Command F and we're gonna right click or control click and arrange bring to front. Now, all we have to do is take away the, in, uh, the inside fill of this object. And then we have basically just created an additional outline that is on top of everything else. So you can go ahead and um, do that for this back part of your neck trim because you want your neck trim in the back to be white as well. And same thing, we're just going to um, select just this top part. So I'm using my direct select tool and I'm going to highlight because I know there's two points here. And I am going to do Command C, Command F, and then I'll select this one, Command C, Command F. And then I'm going to select both of them, join, join. And I'm just going to use my eyedropper tool because I know I already have the color that I want here. And again, it's um, inside of this so you can see again now it's in front of our seam lines just like we did before. So I'm going to choose, I want this one to be first, then this one, and then this one. And I'm going to arrange and send to back. And now you can see that they are all layered way in the background. All of our details are on top and we still have that nice thick outline on the back. And you're going to follow the same principles to create the color for your back sketch and that I mean those are the same basic principles you're going to use for anything that you're coloring in.